Hi there everybody, this is Pastor Charlie. Today is Wednesday the 8th of February and I'm here with you a midweek challenge for you. So I, I call it a midweek challenge, but actually today and in the weeks and months ahead, I'd really like to transition these Wednesday videos to become more of a look back to what we have talked about on Sunday mornings. I've told you all before, and if you're a digital worshipper, you know that on Sunday mornings in our digital worship service at the end of my sermon, I always flash up on screen just a couple of questions that are designed to help our digital worshippers think through what it is that we've said. I don't always do that on Sunday mornings, of course, uh, and that's why we want to make that transition here on Wednesdays. It's just to share those questions with you to help you continue to bring what you do and what you hear in worship on Sunday morning into your life in the midweek. So on Sunday morning past, I hope you'll remember we began another mini series of sermons, just going to be three weeks long and going to be based around the Wesley Covenant prayer. A prayer that I have been praying for my entire life. I can remember as a boy going to the first Sunday service of every new year and it traditionally would have been a Wesley Covenant renewal service. I can remember it because it was the longest, most wordy service of the year. But the more I got into my own faith, the more I started to become familiar with the words of this prayer, the more I started to reflect on them. And certainly I knew as I did that, that these words are indeed hard words to say and hard words to pray. I mean, that's what really was at the crux of my sermon on Sunday morning, that these are hard words to say, but by the grace of God, we can and by the power of the Spirit, we can live as the answers to the prayer that we pray before God, living into our covenant with God. A covenant which says, Lord, I'm no longer my own but yours. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom thou will. So on Sunday in our digital service, I flashed up those two questions and I want to share them with all of you again here today. The first question was this, why do you find it hard to pray Wesley's Covenant Prayer? Why do you find it hard to pray Wesley's Covenant Prayer? Maybe it's the heavy language of commitment that is in that prayer. We live in an age when commitments are an awful lot harder to make. We like a little bit more time to measure up the pros and the cons of making such a commitment. And so sometimes praying a prayer that's filled with this kind of heavy language of commitment, it can be hard for us to do. So I'd like you to think about that this week. Why is it that you find it hard to pray this prayer? Maybe there's something in your life that you just don't want to let go of and give over to God. Maybe that's why it's hard to pray. Why do you find it hard to pray Wesley's Covenant Prayer? The other question that I asked our digital worshippers on Sunday morning was this. As you pray this covenant prayer, where might God be leading you? As you pray this covenant prayer, where might God be leading you? I believe wholeheartedly that prayer is a two-way conversation. It's not only about the words that we can speak to God. It's not only about the requests that we can make of God, but it's also about how God speaks with us. And therefore, it's about how we are listening for God's voice in response to the prayers that we pray. So as we pray the beginning of that prayer this week, how might God be leading us? As we pray those words, Lord, I am no longer my own, but I am yours. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Where might God be leading you this week? I believe that as we gather around this prayer, as we take time to pray it, even though it is a difficult prayer to pray, that God, by the power of God's Spirit, will indeed speak with clarity to us as individuals leading us and, and guiding us forward, but also collectively as a church leading and guiding us forward together. If you've been struggling to pray this prayer this week, one other thing that I want to add to this video today is just a little bit of a word about something that helps me. 
sometimes when we just read words and speak them out, they can be like we're, we're just throwing them out into the atmosphere and they don't really go anywhere. Sometimes it helps us to slow down with those words a little bit. And one way that I find helpful to do that is just to, to take a journal, just like this one that I got here, and to open up a blank page and just write the words down. That's what I did right here. These are all the words of Wesley's Covenant Prayer. So I give that to you today just as a little bit of a, of a help tool, maybe, that you might want to, to just open up a blank page and sit with the words of Wesley's Prayer and slowly write them down. And as you do, reflect on what they mean for you, reflect on why it's hard to pray them, and listen, listen, believing that God may be calling you to something in this day. Lord, I am no longer my own but yours. Rank me with whom you will. Uh, put me to what you will, rank me with whom you will. Put me to doing and put me to suffering. I pray that, that you'll take some time with those words this week, that you will pray them and make them your own, and that you will experience the closeness of God, and that you will hear the voice of God with clarity as you do. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.